Hello, everyone, and welcome to Ballads and Bards Book House. I am C.A. Watts, and I am walking you guys through how to upload a book to Draft to Digital. Now, Draft to Digital is an ebook distributor that gets your ebook into uh, ebook retailers all around the world. So, you are going to hit Add New Book. And I'm just going to walk you guys through a draft that I made for my book, uh, my next book in the Ventura series, uh, Matara. Now, when you start, it asks you for a range of information. So this is the first page that you'll be sent to when you're asked for a new book. So I don't have a cover art yet. The book's title is Matara. It is book two in the Ventura series. Publisher is Ballads and Bards Bookhouse and I am the author. So you can see that we've got um, all of the contributors here for Ballads and Bards. Now, these are search terms that may be used when people are looking for your book. So I could also put in Ventura or Twin Sisters. And you could add to that list, uh, including as many different ones that are relevant. Now, with your BISAC codes or BISAC codes, I'm not sure how to say that. Um, you search the ones that are the most relevant to your book and I would only choose maybe a maximum of three because most retailers will only select your top one or two. So in case they do a third, then by all means have it, but you need to make sure that uh, the genre that most encompasses your book is the top selection you make. So we then get into the details you asks you to upload your book file. Now, my book file is has not been sent to the editor yet. That is the next step for the Matara manuscript. So we have nothing for there yet, but luckily it lets us continue on without it. The ebook release date, we've put a rough release date of the 10th of December to make sure it's available to you guys pre-Christmas and a short description that um, I will definitely build on prior to release. Rogue and Ranger return after finding the mirror to the next venture in world, Matara. Now, paid collaborators. These are people that will also be sent part of your royalties. So if you are giving people credit for their work, but you're not sharing royalties with them, then they get put under non-author contributors. So we have River here that should be under Publisher. Not Print Designer. Having a bit of a moment, let's try again. Yeah, <laughs> let's ignore that section for now. So Basically, all of your contributors get put uh, in the non-author contributors unless you plan to be sharing uh, your uh, royalties with them. We have our own um, ISBN for our ebooks, which we have provided from Thorpe Boker. And then it goes to the layout page. Now, we can't do anything with the layout page right now because it would normally show you a, um, a mock-up of everything of how the book's going to look so you could then customize it from there but with no um, interior or cover that option just is not available to us right now now you place the digital price in here 
and then you need to make sure you click on manage territorial prices because these are all of the different currencies that your book is going to be available in and if you want to choose your own prices for those territories then you need to make sure you're ticking these boxes otherwise instead of remaining at the prices you can see here in the boxes those figures will fluctuate based on the current currency conversion from the US dollar. So you need to make sure you hit apply those territories. That way, whatever prices you select for your book in each of those currencies remains the same. Here is where you are choosing uh, what stores are going to be that your book is going to be made available on. We don't check Amazon. Uh, it's not letting us select Amazon at this point because we don't have our interior or our cover available yet. But uh, because we upload directly to Amazon, we leave that blank anyway. Now, library services, the price is always significantly higher because your ebook is being lent out to multiple people. So if libraries want to be able to lend out three copies of your book at a time, then they'll have to pay for three copies from these library services. Remembering the store preference and hitting submit. Now you need to select that you're the original creator, which I am, or that I have secured the rights to release this content from the copyright holder. So if uh, River was to be doing this upload process for me, she could select that box. And then confirming that we have all the rights necessary to uh, make the cover and the interior available to the public before you can hit publish. Now we're not going to do that obviously because we're nowhere near ready to um, get Matara out there ready for pre-orders. But um, before we finish up I'm going to show you that if you hit the account tab on your draft digital account and go into universal book links the uh, universal book link actually shows you uh, every single store that your ebook is available in. So if I were to get into Valeria, which is book one of the Ventura series, you can see that all of these links are all places where my book is available from and the ones down here with the green. So you select custom your custom name, your URL, and instead of having a basic URL, which you can see up here, you can choose exactly what your universal book link URL is. And then that turns into this book link. So when we copy it, paste it in, and go to that universal book link, we are able to see all of the different ebook stores that your book is available in. So if I then hit any single one of those tabs, it takes me to the store where I can then purchase the book. So Universal Book Links are absolutely incredible. Um, now, draft to digital does not service Google Books. It also does not service Smashwords. I have personally uploaded Valeria to both of those locations individually so I could then include their links in my universal book link. So if you're also looking to do the same, then keep an eye out for our Google Books and our Smashwords upload video, which will be following this one real soon. I'll see you next time, guys.